All right, welcome back, everybody. We are back now with some tips on how to manage your finances, and I'm so excited to be joined by Jessica Dodge, Director of Momentum for Business Owners with Connecticut Wealth Management. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we have a lot to get to, but we want to start with some of the best ways that we could stay on top of our financial goals. Financial goals are incredibly important, and as you can imagine, they're challenging to get going and, yeah. and start the conversation, but with us at Connecticut Wealth Management, it's a key piece to what we do in building somebody's financial plan. Goal setting can't be understated as a value add in really deciding where we're headed in building out your finances against where you want to get to. Right. And next, we want to get to some of the um, helpful ways that you know having someone in your corner could be beneficial. Absolutely. I think just like everybody else, clarity on what your goals are and striving towards a vision is really hard when you're trying to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. We like to be an accountability partner to our clients and that includes individuals, uh, executives, but also really business owners and that's sort of where I sit more squarely is working with our business owner clients. Mm -hmm. Goal setting inside of your personal life as well as your business world, uh, they feel really separate but when it comes to the finances themselves, they're really intertwined so working on them together is incredibly important very good and then next we want to touch on how someone could build a roadmap for goal planning and success yeah, we like to take things in short term and long term uh, when we're working to really dig in and build those goals so short term for instance right now I know our business owners in particular just like everybody else they're working to chip away at those taxes right mm -hmm. so maybe there's some goal setting inside of those near term short term goals and then the long term you know what do they want to do when they retire how does the business take shape over time with a transition plan in mind. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of things that we weigh in concert with one another um, and long-term and short-term planning is really what we do when we're building out the financial plan, continually checking in on those goals mm -hmm. and aligning them with whatever the rightness of fit is for where they are today. Very good. And then lastly, Jessica, what about uh, financial planning when it comes to business owners? If you could touch a little bit on that. Yeah, we really like to say, unfortunately, with all of our business owners, exit is inevitable. Uh, you can't stay in your business forever. And so where we're trying to get to with our business owners is a little bit of that slow acceptance to the idea that transitioning your business is usually what's in the best interest for you as an individual, but also for your employees, for the business reputation that you leave behind. Um, and probably for your family, right? They they probably want to spend a little bit yeah. of time with you in that retirement, the fun stuff. Um, so it can't be understated that building a financial plan, holding true to that goal setting and continuing to check in on it over time mm -hmm. with an accountability partner like what we do with our clients at Connecticut Wealth Management, it's just a really good combination to ensure that everybody feels pretty good at the end of the day with where they decided to head to. Very good. Well, Jessica Dodge, we thank you so much for being here with us and offering up some helpful tips. So we want to get one last check on the forecast.